Hey there, Pastor Alan from Praise here. We're reading from uh, Proverbs chapter 21, and I just wanna read the very first verse. And believe me, there are tons of other verses I could read in this chapter, like the one where it says, it is better for a man to go out in the desert than live with a contentious wife, or uh, the verse that says, it's better for a man to live on the very corner of the roof. I've got a steep roof, but I get it. I totally understand than to live with a contentious wife, but I'm not touching those with a 10 foot pole because the majority of people who watch these videos are actually women. We know that for a fact. So I have nothing to say about any of those things. Instead, I'm gonna get into Proverbs chapter 21, verse one. Here's what it says. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. This is a massive verse to understand. It's really mind blowing when you think it through. I wanna read it again and I want you to look at it again. The king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. He guides it wherever he pleases. Now this is the kind of verse that makes it seem as if God totally overrides our own desires and will, but, but that's not actually what it's saying. First, what we need to recognize is something about Proverbs, uh, the book of Proverbs, but any Hebrew Proverbs in general. Normally what they'll do is they'll state things as certainties, which may be more probabilities. Um, for example, in, in um, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 21, it says, no harm happens to the righteous, but the wicked are filled with trouble. That's not a promise because that would make no sense if it was, because each of us know people or we ourselves have experienced as those who've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ, made righteous, we've experienced trouble in our own lives. But it is, while it may not be a full promise, like an exact promise, it is a probability. If you live righteously, you're less likely to have trouble. So, so getting our mind around that uh, kind of understanding of the Hebrew Proverbs, that this may not be set in stone, but it is a general kind of uh, understanding of the way the world works. So let's look at that verse again, which says, the king's heart is like a stream of water directed by the Lord. What, what we do need to understand from this is that God does move more forcefully or more intensely with those who are in leadership. This is why it's so vitally important for us to pray for those who are in leadership over us, our president, our Congress people, our, uh, the people in the judicial branch. Just in general, it is important for us to pray for them because of the fact that God is more intensely moving and directing um, and changing their hearts. And so that should be one of our prayers. But then we need to take it a step further and say, just as it says, he guides it wherever he pleases. Think about this for a bit. So how does a stream move? In that day, if you were a farmer and you wanted to water your crops, what you would do is just like today, you would irrigate. And so you would turn the water um, and, and try to get it flowing the direction you would want it to lead. And that's really what this verse seems to be talking about. But understanding that the human heart is one of those things that is always moving. Understand that, grasp that, that if you were to set things on autopilot, you will end up where your heart wants to take you. Your desires, your, your passions, your yearnings, those are all the attitudes, motivations, inclinations of the heart. And so in the same way, like a lazy river, if you were to set it on autopilot, pilot, you'll end up where your heart will take you. Well, God's in the business of moving circumstances and changing the path so that our heart might take us a different direction. This is mind blowing for understanding the way God moves and changes us. So be praying for yourself, be praying for your leadership, be praying for me because I recognize as a leader that God is moving even more maybe in my heart than he may be in others. This is, this is a big verse for us to understand. It helps us to grasp Proverbs in general. And so my hope is that it actually changes the way you pray for your leaders. May this be a blessing to you today. God bless.